I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. It finally happened, folks. Elon Musk just unveiled the updated Optimus robot. He shared detailed insights and talked at length about the future of Tesla and the world around it. I'm, I'm going to say a bunch of things that probably I shouldn't say, you know. Musk's message was crystal clear. The holy trinity of robotics, mass production, dexterous hands, and AI is where it is at. Tesla CEO announced the companies to build a new, dedicated robot manufacturing facility where Optimus robots will actually assemble their own peers. Basically, the perpetual motion machine of androids. Just feed it electricity. Already now, dozens of Optimus units are built on a pilot conveyor belt at Vermont, California. And that is just the beginning. Big Boss plans to make these robots more ubiquitous than smartphones. This isn't just going to change how we live and work. Our entire lives are destined to shift on an even more global scale. Musk talked the talk and then walked the walk with a demo of the robot's progress. Here's this nifty little guy running through the company office. Why is this important? Just look at the fluidity and natural movement. Ah, oh, the grace. This is Elon's own metric to measure progress, because from the very beginning, Tesla's CEO set a goal to create a robot that is in no way inferior and perhaps even superior to a human, from its anatomy to the capabilities of the human brain. When you see Optimus 3, yeah, you, it, it will seem as though that there's someone like a, like a person in a robot outfit, um, which is how we started with Optimus. Stick around and catch the latest scoop about the Tesla Bot Gen 3 on Pro Robots. Let's get it. And we start with a bang. At the recent shareholder meeting, Elon Musk made his biggest promise yet. He vowed to deliver technology that will literally save the world. Not only will it eliminate poverty by drastically reducing the cost of goods, but will genuinely make the world better by being integrated into every conceivable industry. While the idea of using Optimus to monitor prisoners might seem controversial, the potential for boosting, say, medicine to a new level boggles the mind, to say the least. Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision that, that isn't possible, that, that, that is beyond human. Now, if a single Optimus masters surgical procedures, this know-how will become accessible to everyone, solving the most pressing matter of them all, access to high-quality medical care. Ultimately, Musk envisions a world that looks like a Star Wars future, where everyone has their own R2-D2 or 3CPO. But to achieve that, he needs a lot of robots. According to the Boy Wonder, components and equipment needed to manufacture Optimus have already long been developed within the Tesla ecosystem. This foundational work made it possible for the company to create the world's first car designed essentially as a robot. The CyberCab features a high-capacity battery, a power electronic system, motors, AI-based vision, a control processor, high-performance software, and autonomous fleet management functions. All of these, surprise, surprise, just happen to be the essential building blocks of a fully realized humanoid robot. And that is the first component of the holy trinity of robotics for creating a universal humanoid, mass production. Musk doesn't need to negotiate with other manufacturers. He already has the factories and production lines, and he plans to build as many new ones as necessary. Given his experience and expertise, how many of y'all vote yay or nay on this one? Let us know in the comments. But look at it this way. Tesla produces millions of vehicles every year. It has the AI engineering team developing cutting-edge, full self-driving systems, and most importantly, it has the industrial automation processes required to eventually expand into robot production. Until now, we've primarily seen Optimus version 2.5. It's possible that the robot jogging through the office is already next-gen, but potentially not the final version of the third generation just yet. Currently, the robot freely navigates Tesla headquarters, it can escort guests to desired locations and independently head back to its charging station when necessary. And of course, it's constantly undergoing training and basically serves as a testing ground for all sorts of improvements. Musk isn't planning to stop at 3 though. Oh no. Version 4 is already scheduled for 2027, and the 5.0 is set for 2028. The company is clearly committed to continually improving and updating the robot, much like smartphone makers. Optimus 4, you know, that, that hopefully starts production in 27 and then Optimus 5 and 28, so it's kind of like an annual release cycle with significant improvements. Naturally, the production of these androids will also be scaled up until it reaches a volume of a million robots a year. This is the ultimate point of no return. The moment that happens, everything will change. At this volume, the robot's cost will drop to at least $20,000, making it a mass consumer product and a profitable investment for manufacturing and warehousing companies. And if everything goes according to plan, future volumes could further increase to tens of millions of robots annually. This sounds incredible. But the fact is, Musk has already achieved the fastest production growth rates for some of the most complex and largest products in history. Electric cars, done. Reusable rockets, check. Starship, eh. 
almost there. So who wants to bet he will or won't be able to do it with humanoids? Let us know in the comments. And yet, Musk is not a dreamer detached from reality. He's a calculated feller and clearly understands that robots and AI can scale the economy 10 or even 100 times over. But first, Tesla must prove that this technology is safe, transparent, and built to serve humanity, not to replace it. Let's play the devil's advocate for a second now. Imagine a smart humanoid machine capable of seeing, understanding, and acting present in your home, workplace, or any other institution. That's an incredibly tempting target for hackers and criminals of all kinds. Consequences of such a breach are hard to imagine. That's why Elon Musk and the Tesla team are building a multi-layered security security ecosystem, including data encryption, monitoring, AI-driven firewalls, and automatic lockdown mechanisms that activate should anomalous behavior indeed be detected. On top of that, the company has developed protocols for remote human control. These will allow human operators to intervene at any moment and take command of the robot, which does raise a question in and of its own, but that's for another episode. Beyond hacking, though, there's another conundrum to contemplate. Since the robot is constantly learning and adjusting its behavior based on acquired data, what guarantee is there that it won't learn something, say, undesirable? In reality, the more complex, smart, and capable the robot gets, the more vulnerable it becomes. That's why the company is focusing on issues of technological ethics and cybersecurity simultaneously with Optimus's development. Remember when Elon Musk was among a group of developers and researchers who signed a letter on the dangers of uncontrolled development of artificial intelligence? Well, the entrepreneur is therefore ensuring that the robot is protected to the gills against all threats before it reaches consumers' homes. Do we believe? Share your thoughts below. And while universal abundance is still in the future, at present, Tesla is focused on more grounded and practical things. The company's trying to speed up and perfect the robot's training for simple domestic chores. Why? Albeit it being the most challenging aspect, it's the most relatable and understandable for the vast majority. Essentially, the robot's ability to cook dinner and clean the house represents both an incredible breakthrough in learning and handling and a shift in public perception towards humanoid robots. What could be simpler and more understandable than taking out the garbage and popping some ranch dressing on, well, anything really? It's this cadence, the rhythm of reliable, thoughtful actions that builds rapport and trust, not just moving boxes in a warehouse. Simple. We're all products of the culture we grew up in. When you hear about an assistant robot, you probably imagine an android that follows your commands and anticipates your desires. And here, we approach the second element of the holy trinity of robotics, hands with human dexterity. There's really three things that are super difficult about robots. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand, uh, because the human hand is an, an incredible incredible thing, actually. This is where the Tesla Bot Gen 3 reaches for new horizons. Elon Musk originally tasked the company's engineers with creating a robot anatomy and capabilities equal to humans. Our hands, which admittedly we use without thinking, from the heaviest to the most precise, have 27 degrees of freedom. Our bones, muscles, and tendons all work in unison to produce the results our brain desires. Musk realized that to achieve human dexterity, it was an absolute must to precisely replicate this structure. Even the different lengths of our fingers are crucial for certain manipulations. After months of trial and error, overcoming overheating and reliability, Tesla engineers seem to have created the ideal design. They developed miniature, powerful, and reliable actuators and placed them inside the compact body of the robot's hand. And now, Optimus has 22 degrees of freedom, which is pretty close. This means every finger can move, bend, and react almost like a real one. This is no longer just ordinary engineering, it's biomechanics perfectly brought to life. And while it's still going to be a couple of years until Optimus fixes your eggs benedict and grilled cheese for breakfast, the tech developed at Tesla has definitely taken aim at this once impossible reality. Many of you guys are probably wondering, why Tesla though? Why specifically these guys? Most Chinese robotics companies, such as Unitry or Engine AI, focus on agility and stability of the robot's body only. Their humanoids do tricks, run, dance, flips, which, you know, is impressive, but the focus on marketing applications are using them as guides, observers, or at most, police and security guards. Other companies, such as Boston Dynamics or Aptronic, focus on the bare minimum necessary manipulation for warehouse jobs. Their robots can be used in manufacturing, but only for simple operations like stacking racks, moving parts, loading machines, and so on. And only a few are actually attempting to create robots capable of fine motor skills and cognitive understanding. The closest competitor we can think of is arguably Figaro 3. Yet, its developers still haven't disclosed the exact number of degrees of freedom in the robot's hand, which is a crucial indicator of functionality. Some media outlets reported the robot has 35 degrees of freedom, but for the entire body. Now subtract the legs and neck, and perhaps divide by two, 
and it looks like the hands aren't left with anything much to write home about. And judging by their promos, it is enough for a number of operations, but far from what we're talking about here, a home robot. That's why Optimus is a unique project. And it's not just the hands. Musk's robot doesn't just see the world, it perceives and understands it. Using an advanced network of cameras and 3D sensors, it can recognize objects in your home, not only by shape, but also by purpose. And there you have it, folks, the third pillar of Holy Trinity, artificial intelligence capable of making the robot truly useful. Thanks to intensive training, Optimus knows what a pot is for and what to do with vegetables. This information is stored and processed in the robot's central AI, allowing it to make real-time decisions, plan, and execute all movements with astonishing accuracy. In its brain, literally like ours, it performs up to a million micro-calculations in fractions of a second, and it constantly accumulates experience training 16-hour days at the company's research center in Palo Alto, California. It's also important that the robot learns like humans do through observation and repetition. This method is called sim to real and can include live human demonstrations or simply watching videos of how any given task is performed, like say, peeling an egg. Upon observing a task, the robot's unified AI generalizes the data, models the process in a virtual environment, trains itself in it, and then transfers this acumen as action into reality. It's like watching a tennis tutorial video and then imagining yourself swinging it like you're Pete Sampras, and then trying it on in real life and actually being good. It's like apples to apples. The difference though, is that if you do actually become Pete, that skill won't transfer to your girlfriend, say. But a Tesla robot, it'd be a piece of cake, because these robots will easily transfer their competencies between themselves. On to the next step, which is agility. According to Elon Musk, the third generation of the Tesla robot will receive significant hardware and software updates. Specifically, Optimus will have faster reflexes, more natural movements, and improved balance on uneven surfaces. Previous generations moved cautiously, to say the least. In contrast, the newer models, which will become commercially available, will move and react like a human. Word on the street has it, it'll actually take effort to make Optimus fall. TeslaBot isn't just a robot that executes voice commands. It's designed to understand people on a deeper level. Thanks to advanced perception systems, it can interpret not only voice commands, but also the owner's or supervisor's facial expressions and body language. Picture this. You're standing in the living room next to a table where the fam just finished Thanksgiving dinner. Gobble, gobble. You don't need to say anything. Just look at the table or point a finger at it, and the robot will inherently understand. It'll plan its actions and begin clearing the table within seconds of your silent command. It will put dirty dishes in the dishwasher, throw the table cover into a washing machine on delicate, and the trash out. Wow, is that convenient or what? We live in a world where even voice interaction is beginning to feel almost, well, redundant. The robot's ability to correctly read our desires and intentions makes interacting with it incredibly easy, pleasant, and natural. For many, this home robot could even become a friend. Now, how in the world did Musk achieve all this? The secret of the pudding is in the new generation AI5 chip, which is to become the core of Tesla Bot 3. Given its, and don't quote us on this one, fantastic efficiency and performance, the robot will possess a cognitive system surpassing all existing ones. AI5 is expected to arrive in 2026, and it will not be the pinnacle of progress. Although the chip is rumored to be 10 times more cost-effective for AI computations and three times more energy efficient than anything NVIDIA ever came out with. Like, Tesla is on a roll here, folks. But Musk plans to launch mass production of an even more advanced chip, you guessed it, the AI6 by mid-2028. But even with AI5, the robot will be incredible. This next-generation neural architecture will let Optimus not just instantly map navigation of its surroundings, but to dynamically adapt to diverse and unpredictable home environments. The fact that every home is unique has been a nightmare for anyone trying to create a humanoid robot for the cause. To solve this problem, Toyota Research Institute even tried putting a robot on a ceiling. At least, there are no scattered socks or running children and pets up there. And don't get us wrong, art requires sacrifice. We get it. But remodeling the entire house or planning for it during construction is a hefty price for a consumer product. Therefore, only a humanoid robot, similar in body structure and physical capabilities to a human, can perform in an environment created for people. Tesla engineers are currently in the midst of fighting this uphill battle. From what we gather, they use built-in cameras, depth sensors, and a processor that performs real-time calculations. Optimus constantly scans the environment, creating and updating a 3D map of the space. The robot memorizes the location of static objects, such as rooms and furniture, and instantly reacts to dynamic changes. It also understands 
context. That is, it can distinguish between a sleeping dog from a pillow or a dropped toy from a smartphone charger so as to know what to touch and where to put it. And if Mr. Snuggles or a child suddenly runs in front of it, Optimus will instantly adjust its movement and reconfigure its route to continue working effectively and safely. It is this situational intelligence that is a huge step forward compared to earlier robots where every action and movement had to be pre-programmed. And if that wasn't enough, Optimus will boost smart homes management to completely new heights. Being a part of the unified Tesla product system and all, let's double click on that. Energy supply systems and companies self-driving cars. The robot's advanced AI will calculate everything for you and issue the necessary commands to your devices. You'll no longer have to worry about energy efficiency whatsoever. Oh, you can worry about paying the bill, but even then, Musk got you covered with letting you rent out your Tesla as a robot taxi. This isn't just automation, it's the beginning of a new era where people coexist peacefully and productively with assistant robots. We do want the the, the Star Wars uh, movie, not the J Jim Cameron movie. Um, I, I, I love Jim Cameron's movies, but you know, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. So what do you think about the new Tesla bot? Name your price or tag a friend who'd buy Optimus in the comments. In the meantime, like our videos, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more from the world of high tech. Yeah.